Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song by Eddie Arnold called Cattle Call, which was one of my, my friend Melvin's favorite songs. And we're going to start on, on a C major chord, and we're going to talk about where we're going to move this for key in a moment, because we're going to end up capoing on third fret for this. But we're going to start with a C major chord, and when we play C, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And on our intro, actually, we go from the C major to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And our intro is actually a little bit different than the rest of the tune, where we're just alternating between the C and the G. So we're kind of going C major, G major, C major, G major right before kind of our, our verse comes in. And, and a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And, and cattle call is in what's called three, four times. So it's kind of like a, a country waltz. And, and a good strum pattern for that is down, down, up, down, up. So we just took the C and tried that a lot. We'd have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. a lot to get your right hand used to it and then if we tried that through our intro we'd have C down up down G down down up down C down down up down G down down up down C down down up down G down down up down C down down up down G down down up down up and then from there we're going to be going into our chorus part kind of the, the yodeling part and, and on that part, actually, it's all C and G too, so we're just kind of mixing up a lot of things we talked about. So on our chorus, we got C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, G 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 down, down, up, down, C 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 down. going into our verse part and on our verse we start on the C major and then from the C major we're going to be going to an F major chord and we'll talk about a really easy way to play F in a moment but if you know the bar F major you do your first finger across the entire first fret second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret third finger on the A string on the third fret and the pinky on the D string on the third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy but if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chords, actually, there's a good substitute for that card called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7 it looks a lot like C. You do first finger on the B string, first fret, just like C. And then second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds like F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F, we're going to be going back to the G major chord. And then the rest of our verse is actually just kind of mixing up a lot of those things. So we tried our verse with our strum pattern. We have C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, 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 down,
of starting on a C major chord, he's actually starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording this way, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your C chord is really an E flat major chord, your G major chord is really a B flat major chord, and your F major is really an A flat major chord, and when we get to it, the D major is really an F major chord. So to take it from the very, very beginning that way, you'd have the intro part. So we got our C with down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, C, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, C, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, C, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, up. And then we'd be going into our chorus part. So we got our C, down, up, down, C, down, down, up, down, C, down, down, up, down, C, down. So we got our C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, F down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, C 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 down. Part. So we got our C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down. Into our bridge part, so we got our F down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, 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 C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down. Part. So we have our C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 Part. So we got our C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, G 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 down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, and then we back on our bridge. So we got our F down, up, down, up, F down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, and then we're back to our core. Kind of for our outro, we got C down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, G 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 down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, and then kind of a big C. Very, very end. 
Now one other thing that I would think about adding to the song though is bass notes and it can sound a little bit cool to kind of do it this way because it sounds a little bit more countryfied if you kind of do a bass down up down up for your strum pattern. So for instance on the C chord you could do the A string for your bass and then do your down up down up. So C with an A bass, down up down up, C with an A bass, down up down up, C with an A bass, down up down up, C with an A bass, down up down up, C with an A bass, down up down up. And then on your G chord you'd have the low E string for your bass, low E bass, down up down up. Now, if you're doing the F bar, you'd have the bass on the low E bass. Down, up, down, F with low E bass. Down, up, down, F with low E bass. Down, up, down. If you're doing the F major 7, your bass would be on the D string. So, D bass. Down, up, down, F with the D bass. Down, up, down, F with the D bass. Down, up, down. And then when we get the D chord, your bass would be on the D string. So, we got D bass. Down, up, down, D bass. Down, up, down, up. So, we chart our intro that way. You'd have C with an A bass. Down, up, down, G with low E bass. Down up down C with an A bass, down up down G with low E bass, down up down C with an A bass, down up down G with low E bass, down up down C with an A bass, down up down G with low E bass, down up down up. And then we chart our chorus that way. You'd have C with an A bass, down up down 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 G with low E bass, down up down G with low E bass. that through our verse we'd have C with an A bass down up down C with an A bass down up down F with a bass down up down F with a bass down up down G with low E bass down up down G with low E bass down up down C with an A 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 bass down up down F with a bass down up down F with a bass down up down G with low E bass down up down G with low E bass down up down C with an A bass down up down C with an A bass Try that through our bridge part. We had F with the bass, down up, down F with the bass, down up, down C with an A bass, down up, down C with an A bass, down up, down D with the D bass, down up, down D with the D bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down C with an A 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 bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up. To, actually, there's another way that you could do this. It kind of works off of the country waltz. And I don't know if this sounds exactly like the recording. And something else I would think about adding is anytime you've got two of those chords back to back, like two of the C chords, for instance, like what we have in the chorus, you could play the root for the first bass note and then take your third finger and kind of go to the low E string on the third fret to kind of play what's called the fifth of the chord. So you got root on the A string, down, up, down, third finger moving to the low E on the third fret for a G note. So C with the A bass, down, up, down, move the low E bass, down, up, down, move back to the A string bass, down, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, down. So it's kind of paralleling a very countryfied bass line where you're going root fifth, root fifth a lot of times in the bass line. And on the G chord, you'd be doing the low E string for your root, and then your D string would be your fifth. So you got G with low E bass, down, up, down, D string for the bass, down, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, down, D string bass, down, up, down, up. And then on your F chord, if you're doing the bar F, you have the low E string for your root, and then the A string would be your fifth. So low E root, down, up, down, A string bass, low E root, A, or A string bass. And then if you're doing the F major 7, you could do that same kind of move trick that we were doing with the third finger to go to the A string on the third. A string third for the fifth root, fifth on the A string, D string on the third, down up, down up, A string on the third, down up, down. And then on your D chord, you'd have the D string for your root, and the A string for the fifth. So D root, A string for the fifth, D with the D root, A string for the fifth. So we tried it that way, and actually the chorus works really well for this. The intro, actually, you just want to do kind of the way we're talking about now, but the chorus could really work really well. Where you'd have the C with the root, down, up, down, fifth, down, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, down, move the low E bass, down, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, down, a D string for the fifth, G with low E bass, and the D bass, and then C with an A bass, low E for, for on the third, C with an A bass, low E on the third, and then G with low E bass, and then D string bass, and then C with an 
base, and then Louis base. And then if we trod that idea through our verse, then we have C with an A base, down, up, down, through the low E, F with a base, and then the fifth, G with low E base, and then D for the fifth, C with an A base, and then move low E on the third, C with the A base on the third, move the low E base, and then F with the bass on the D, move the A string on the third. In the bar and G with low E bass and then D bass, C with an A bass and move low E bass. So, so that would be another thing that you might want to try. If we tried that through the bridge part, you'd have F with the root down, up, down, up, fifth. C with an A bass, move low E bass. D with a D bass and then A bass and then G with low E bass and then D bass. C with an A bass, move low E for the third. something else you want to kind of try and through it. Um, but that's the basics of how you could strum through Cattle Call by Eddie Arnold. So good luck!